Welcome to Emacs 2. My name is Louis Shell. In this episode, I am going to go over the five things I hate about the Panasonic GH5. I know, I know, I know people keep calm. The Panasonic GH5 is a great camera. 4K 60p, embody image stabilization, 10 bit 422. Wait. I don't. Not forget that dual SD card. All right, man, get out of my frame. I know the Panasonic GH5 also have dual SD card where you can program it to record a video on both. After the first one is full, you can speed it over to record on the second card or you can program it to record photo and video on the other one. But remember, those are the five things I hate about the Panasonic GH5. You probably won't agree with all of them, but however, I know me and you are in the same corner when I said there is no perfect camera. Let's take this glass of water for example. You probably look at it as half empty. I probably look at it as half full. So we can discuss that for years. No one will ever win that argument. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one on my list of things I hate about the Panasonic GH5 is the striped hole there. I hope you can see it right here. I call them Lucy Lucy. These stripes drive me crazy. When you carry that camera, the thing is making a bunch of noise. As you can see, when you're shaking that camera, I don't know why Panasonic cannot find a better way to attach the stripe to the body of the camera. I was hoping they will not put it on the GH5 because Panasonic been putting this strap on the GH4 and they can also make noise if you're shooting a video handheld and this stripe can drive you crazy. Squeeze it. Let's listen together. Recently, I tried to vlog with the Panasonic G85 and let's see what happened with those Lucy Lucy stripe. I gotta remind you that the G85 has the same stripe holder with the Panasonic GH5. Let listen. I'm about to vlog, but in my case, this is not what I'm doing. I really hope on the next camera, on the GH6, if it ever exists, Panasonic take this stripe Lucy Lucy out and take them off, put them to be a solid on the camera. And here are some examples of how Panasonic should put the strap on the camera that look way better, that doesn't make any noise at all like this one, for them to make a good strap or holder without making noise when you're shooting handheld. Number two on my list of things that I hate about the Panasonic GH5 is the fact that I cannot charge this camera via USB. It is so easy when you can charge your camera via USB. Let's say you're gonna go on a shoot and you forgot to charge your battery. You can easily charge your battery in the car while going and it would be very easier instead of having a bunch of cord with you. So the fact that this camera cannot charge via USB, it's a downside for me. I would love for me to be able to charge the camera via USB. Like on the Panasonic FZ80, you can charge that camera via USB. A cheaper, a cheaper, cheaper, cheaper camera than the Panasonic GH5. They put that option on it. I would love to be able to charge the Panasonic GH5 via USB. This is my number two on the list of things I hate about the Panasonic GH5. Number three, my God, I know you all know it. The autofocus system on this camera is auto-confused. I can tell you that sometimes the autofocus system looks very confusing. It doesn't know when to focus, what to focus on. You will be showing the camera stuff and the camera will be focused on the background, but probably not a deal breaker for me, like I said, on on many of my videos because I love to shoot manual. So the autofocus, even if it's bad, we all know it's not the greatest. I believe this is one of the best autofocus system Panasonic ever created because the autofocus on the GH5 is better than the one on the Panasonic G85 that I'm shooting with right now. So the autofocus system is number three on my list of things uh, that takes a lot away from the Panasonic GH5. Number four on my list of things I hate about the Panasonic GH5 is the fact that 
we have to pay for Vlog L. Even though if you bought the Vlog L for your Panasonic GH4, you still gotta go ahead and buy a different copy for the Panasonic GH5. This part, I really don't understand it because if I bought something the first time it's mine, I can basically take that code and we use it on the Panasonic GH5. I hope Panasonic was thinking about that, not making us uh, spending another hundred dollars to buy the Vlog L for the Panasonic GH5. And of course, the fact I hate it the most, the fact that you have to receive that via mail 2017, come on, please. Electronic mail is easy. They could just send you a link for you to download the Vlog L and put it on your Panasonic GH5. Number five, Panasonic GH5, five things I hate about the Panasonic GH5 is the confusion on the menu side where they have creative movie mode and movie mode, you have to go on the movie mode to change your record format for you to be able to find valuable frame rate. I'm asking myself, why can Panasonic put everything under one option called creative movie mode or movie mode, so we didn't have to get that confusion. I'm sure if anybody never used Panasonic camera, uh, before they probably go to hell to find how to shoot uh, 60p on that camera or 180 frames per second at 1080p because there is two options there's creative movie mode and there's the movie mode why can we have one option on the movie mode or creative movie mode so we can go ahead and pick whichever record format that we want to shoot at Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. So this is not to knock the camera. This is my main camera that I shoot video. Those are a few improvements that I would love to see Panasonic made in the future because I shoot with Panasonic, not because I'm a Panasonic head. I'm not a fan of any camera. This camera gives me uh, a lot of options to do what I do because I hate keep on pushing recording button when I'm recording. This camera can shoot unlimited video especially right now we have dual sd card so i can shoot for as long as i want or as long as my battery can last and my sd card can last this is my main camera no knocking but of course i would love to see some improvement i'm sure if you ask my wife uh, about me she would find more than 50 or 100 things she doesn't like about me because no one is perfect if you like the video, go ahead, you know what, smash the like button and share the video with your friend on the social network. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you're looking for this camera to purchase, like I said, great option, 4K 60p, 10 bit 4 to 2, and body image stabilization, dual SD card. So don't get me wrong, this is a great camera. You will not find this nowhere for $2,000 with the features inside that camera. If you're looking to buy that camera, we will have link on the description down below that will take you directly to a different um, uh, merchant that sell that camera. And those links, they are going to be affiliate link. If you purchase, we will have a commission from uh, uh, your purchase, but with no cost to you so as i said if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe and as always i will catch you on the next video